Yeah, g'day. Um, so a question I get asked a lot is how to find a research experience um, or volunteering experience for people at usually at university. Um, so I guess it's important to be aware there are two kind of different models for that. So for one thing, if you're just coming out of school and you're looking to see whether you might be interested in marine biology, uh, following that up at university or as a career, uh, usually you're looking at like a, a kind of a research experience sort of training model, I guess. Um, you'd expect to pay for that uh, because like, like uh, how do I say this nicely? Um, I don't know. Uh, you're not, you're, you're not very experienced yet. So the, the um, experience is going to be more about you learning uh, rather than you helping the organization necessarily um, but they they're still really fun and and you can definitely learn a lot from that um, so a lot of those will involve people learning to dive or or perhaps doing slightly more advanced dive training uh, learning how to do like i don't know underwater transects or, or basic data collection and that kind of thing um, often it's teenagers uh, or people in their early 20s uh, so yeah those those can be fun um, i did I, when I was at university, I did a minke whale ecotourism trip, um, thanks to my mum, uh, for my 21st present, uh, up on the Great Barrier Reef, and it was absolutely life-changing. Like, I, I um, thought I'd use that trip to decide whether I'd go into marine biology or not, and after uh, a summer spent doing reptile-based field work out in the bush uh, with hairy men that got progressively smellier, um, the the whole thing of going out to the barrier reef and diving every day and getting pancakes and air conditioning and um it was amazing and i was like yeah marine biology it's for me and it's been a solid life choice so yep definitely go with that but yeah the other model is i guess um for people that already know you want to be a marine biologist or a marine conservationist or something can you're looking for more specific experience in an organization that focuses on that stuff and and that's where you've got to be a probably a bit more selective about who you who you apply to who you go with because i mean usually you will need to cover your own costs and so it's it's a it's an investment in your future and you need to take that seriously um so if you want to be a researcher uh one of the things you should be looking for is is this organization publishing stuff so most of the time on their website it'll be pretty obvious if they're producing just little internal reports or are they actually producing scientific publications um, sometimes if organizations are feeling new they won't have had a chance yet uh, but you can usually see if they've got a credible scientific team if they're working with a university or a good non-profit or there's good scientific advisors on board then those people aren't going to lend their names to something that's not credible so that's that's usually a good sign um, particularly if some of the people involved and the people that will be training you are scientists themselves as well is pretty important. Uh, one thing that people um, people often think is that you've got to do one of these kind of paid uh, volunteering experiences and there's, a, there's some genuinely good ones out there and, and I'll, I'll link to some in the, in the bio like underneath somewhere. Um, some of the ones that I've personally uh, like got experience with and, and can recommend to you um, but also like if you're at university uh, check out what the academics and particularly what the postgrad students are doing uh, that might be of interest in your department so uh, like most of the time if PhD students for instance are out doing field work uh, a lot of the time it's it's hard to find good help for that so if you if you kind of take them out for a coffee or something or or get in touch and ask ask if, if you could be involved in any way either in the lab or in the field um, you're quite likely to find an opportunity to get involved in stuff that way um, and those can be amazing like I mean these people will often end up being your research collaborators over time and things um, friends and it's a great way to get more experience and kind of the real world stuff and and it helps them too so so that's really cool and it means you can do it locally like either with students or, or if there's a good nonprofit around or some sort of research institute or whatever, I'd check out those experiences um, first. Um, what else was I going to say about that? 
yeah I can't really think now okay um well I'll post this for now um hope it's useful and if there's something you would like to ask in terms of follow-up questions or whatever just chuck them in the comments beneath and I'll try and uh, get onto those in some follow-up videos cheers bye